Hello, beautiful ladies. Karen McCoy here, your hostess on the Over 40 Fit and Lean Lifestyle Podcast. Now, can we have fun and ease when we are in a weight loss body transformation journey? Of course we can. Yes, we can. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so can we have fun and ease and flow, <laughs> as we call it, on uh, a weight loss or body transformation journey? Of course we can. Here's the deal. We are in a mindset, a culture where people look at it as hard or, oh, I don't want to do it, or I just want to do it and get there and go back to normal life, right? The way we get there has to be the way we stay there, too. So when we talk a lot about maintenance, I don't like that because what it's saying is, well, you can do it this way. And then this block for the next 30 years is different. It doesn't work that way, guys. We have to put in proper lifestyle food strategies, movement strategies, aging strategies right at the get go and build them throughout the next 20 or 30 years or however long we have on the planet. Right. It does not have to be drudgery. Do, do you have to work? Absolutely. You have to work. Do you have to be committed? Of course you do. Are you going to wobble? Yes, you are. That's when coaching matters, okay? That's why you need coaching. <laughs> That's why you need mentoring because ask anybody successful in any business or any, any kind of culture, it was the mentoring and the coaching piece that is so vitally important if you want to skyrocket to success. If you just want to keep doing what you're doing, and, and just kind of plot along, that's okay too, right? We all we all have a choice. And some people really want to change the way they live and how they think and how they view things. That's where that's where the success platform is the 30,000 foot view, as we call it, right? But it doesn't have to be hard, but it does require consistency and diligence, um, a little bit of tenacity and what we call bounceability. <laughs> what does that mean? Bounceability means when you falter, when you crash on your diet plan or when you've missed a week of training or whatever, when you get into a slump emotionally, it's like, oh, I don't want to do it. What's wrong with me? That's when you can move out of that energy with a proper skill set and toolkit that, that this is what we do in, in, in our coaching to be able to shift the way you see things. So it's a reframe. So when you shift the way... We have a saying in empowerment coaching, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change without changing or reframing. And it's not enough for us just to say, I just got to be better. I just got to be better. I just got to be better. I just got to be happy. I just got to be happy. I just got to be happy. It doesn't work because again, as I'm always talking about the unconscious is still in there, right? So it, it, it requires a, you know, a little bit more of a diverse approach. Um, most people can't do it themselves. It's like, you can't see the label when you're inside the jar, as we say, right? <laughs> so it doesn't have to be hard. It can be fun. It can be fun. Or the other thing is when you trip up and fall guys, right? It's kind of like, remember when your child was learning how to walk, there were two kinds of parents. I remember there's the one where the kid falls over and immediately he looks up to the parent to see what her reaction is. How am I supposed to feel? What was this all about? What's the truth? And if the parent goes, oh my God, are you okay? Then we're creating this whole structure around the thought process around tripping and falling. Same with failure, right? If the child looks up and and <laughs> and the mom goes, fine, come on, let's go. Then it's kind of like, oh, okay, cool. And there isn't that whole, and then some kids are just wired differently anyways. They kind of do one or the other without our help. And um, so a lot of it depends on what the learned behavior is. And that starts like before the age of five, by the way, and we drag it with us. <laughs> and so we're bringing that into the present and then we're getting clear on what's really going on here. So 
It doesn't have to be hard, but it does require diligence and patience is another one. So we look at all the beliefs like, oh, it's not working. Oh, it's not working. Well, who said you could lose 20 pounds in five weeks? Like who said that? You made that up. So we look at the stories because our stories is what's in here. And that's what runs the show. And we look at, is that story true? And then once you let go of that story, what do we fill it with? How do we move ahead? It's not about going on a body transformation journey where you're beating yourself up all the time. Are you kidding me? Seriously, the world does enough in beating us up. And then we come along and beat us up even more because we're not where we should be. Should is the language of guilt. And guilt is down here in the heavier emotions, okay? So there's shame, guilt, anger, apathy, grief, fear. That's kind of how it works. That's my whole world and where I work from. And then up above that, courage is the first level of empowerment where I say, do you have the courage to consider we could do this another way? Do you have the courage to let go of the old stories? Do you have the courage to challenge that old belief system that is keeping you away from your success and your own light? And at courage, then we move in and it still requires patience and tenacity and coaching and accountability and support, right? Because it's a, a path that not, few that not many walk, pardon me, few people walk it. And so um, you need support along the way. And then above that is where you get into the good stuff, non-judgment, neutrality, bliss, ease, flow, joy, right? That's where we're supposed to be living from. And when we're living up there, our training and our food is not heavy and dark and I can't do it and I'm down in shame and guilt. No, because we're living up here in our heads and we can't just make ourselves get there, okay? It is a process. And again, this is what I do in my coaching is the rewiring of the brain. We call it getting the junk out. <laughs> really, really important, guys. So just know that you do not have to white knuckle your way through it. There will be times probably when you'll feel disappointed or you'll feel like, oh, am I getting it? That's part of the human process, guys. We are human beings and it's okay to have some doubts and to have some fears because when we move through them, that's how we grow that muscle of courage, of tenacity, of faith, self-love, right? We don't just get those. We can't wait for courage to show up before we move through a challenge or a fear, before we move through a different way of doing things. We actually build it by doing. You learn to do by doing, <laughs> right? I hope that's helpful to some of you guys out there, okay? So you don't have to struggle your way through. You can find another way. Uh, find somebody who can help you in that way. Um, because most diets are restrictive. Most diets put the guilt on you. Most diets are like, People go, oh, and they're all excited at the beginning because it's a, like a honeymoon phase, as we call it. And then it's slowly and then it's like, oh, do you want to live with that way of eating for the next 30 years and that way of thinking and with that much restriction and, and um, self-policing? No, no, there is another way. Trust me on that. Okay, you guys, hope you're doing well. See you on the next podcast. Ciao.